Welcome everybody. It is so nice to be here again. My name is Rhoda Wagaki and this is Suruvi where we care for caregivers. Lately, I have been saying take care as you give care and I've been meaning it for caregivers. What does that mean? Let us start with a little story. About 10 years ago, when I was going through a very difficult time of my life, I enrolled myself into a self-care program. A personal development program. I was going through a situation in life that uh, required character development on my part uh, and, and I couldn't do it alone. I learned so many things from this class but one of the things I really learned was to unpack words, to break them, defragmentize them, Sometimes we say things and we string words together and they mean a certain thing. But when you break them up, when you segment them, then they are so richer. The meaning is heavier, it's weightier. And that is what I want to do for this short statement. Take care as you give care. What does it mean to take care? What I mean when I say take care for caregivers is receive care. Like how you would take somebody, your phone, like how you would take a cup of tea, you are taking care. It could be available care or it could be care that you have to ask for. For you to be able to know which care to take or to ask for, then you have got to go another step backwards to know what hungers you have within you. Which part of you is hungering for care? Which part of you needs care? In the previous video, we talked about a resource, an energy source. Where does our energy to care, where does it come from? It comes from a combination of things. It comes from your wholesomeness version, version of yourself. And when we say wholesome version, what I mean is it is your mental wellness put together with your spiritual wellness, put together with your emotional wellness, put together with your social wellness, and put together with your... Um, physical wellness. Sorry, I had to I had to think about which what, what haven't I said. So that and many other wellnesses come together for a wholesome you. And when you are giving care, it is coming from any one of these or all of these aspects of yourself. And so it is helpful for you to know which area of yourself is very well fed and which one needs feeding? And how do you feed any one of these areas? When do you feed any one of these areas? How do you feed them? It takes us again another step backwards, another step inwards of ourselves to pause and think, how am I doing mentally? Think about your thoughts. Check your emotional self. What are the feelings that you are currently harboring? Which ones have you archived? Which, one have, which ones have you stored? Which ones need unpacking? Which ones have you absorbed from your loved one or from your patients? When we um, express empathy, and you do it so many times, empathy being, you know, translated to mean walking, walking in another person's shoe, placing yourself in another person's position. Sometimes we place ourselves in so many positions that we don't know which one is our position. Spiritually, how are you um, interacting with God or a higher being, however you think of him to be or her to be or it to be? How are you, how is your body? Is it bearing stress? Is it bearing tension? 
how are all of these aspects and how do you need to take care of them? Now, once you figure out how you need to take care of them, then you will know what kind of care to ask for, what kind of care to go for, what kind of care to take of yourself. I have been told by my friends uh, that sometimes I get technical. If that was technically put out, let me know and then I can unpack it further for you. But for now, remember this, take care as you give care.